and Duopri fights for the tip and brings it Australia's way. Nick Kay fights Duopri there low and he starts with a jam. Picks up where he left off two nights ago. Now Buklo trying to hit back on Duopri for Nick Kay and he does so. Bucket for bucket early. And now De Paula for three, buries it. Brazil have an early lead. Cross court swing to Suarez in the corner and nails another three. He's deadly in Melbourne from that range. Well, that's a mistake by Matisse. Giddy finds his mat again and no mistake from Duopri. De Paula pushing. Mendel turns the corner and three point play coming up here as Thibel couldn't slow him down. Giddy turning away from De Paula and the block from Carbuclo. Extra pass for De Paula and Bryant Gorgian must be pondering a timeout right now. Brazil lead by double digits. Giddy into the lane trying to make something happen and there's the drought breaker. Xavier Cooks who Washington Wizards man who won that championship with the Kings before realising his NBA dream and now receives from Joe Ingles and tried to throw it down. What a flop from Gias and then the hustle. Couldn't quite keep it in but that was mighty impressive to stop the X-Men. Man in the corner. Gias splashes it. Here is your man, Quintas, beating the shot clock. Nice. Enzo! That's a lift up in every sense of the word. And the handles from Quintas to keep it away from Ingles. Now the no look into the corner for Gias, and he's buried two threes. That's exactly what Brian Gorgian was focusing in on the last time out. Cooks with an easy two. Nice dish on by Dante Exum. The boy from Trialgan has to get busy here late in the shot clock. Oh, beautiful. Jumping Jack White. The lead is down to single digits here. Cooks, nice move found by Ingles. And that's the dazzling play these fans are looking for. Benici coming off a big screen and knocks it down. That's why they set up that man, Vitor Benici White. There you go. A three-point bomb is landed by the boy from Trialgan, the NBA championship winner with the Denver Nuggets. Excellent little stutter move, and now the boomers are rolling. Benici again, had a sign it from here a moment ago, and knocks down three more. Now Ingles maintaining his dribble, and got Carbuclo where he wanted it. <laughs> oh, nice hand in the face again from Duarte Reeve, but Carbuclo still able to knock it down, and the lead is back out to eight. It's a chance for Exxon to push now. Picks up Nick Kane, and there's the touch. Sanchos trying to show his jump shot. Oh, aggressive Carbuclo, and the refs let that roll. Joe Ingles says that has to be an offensive foul. Yago, the screen from Dos Anjos, throws it down low. Gias is fouled, and there's a three-point play opportunity. Nos, Iago, split the gap in there, Batiste Thibel. NBA second team defensive twice. Yago and Gias, little two man game. Kabuklo ready to nail the three. Well, that's really been the difference in the game. Thibel faked out of it by Quirtas. Giddy, no look at the Thibel in the corner. And Giddy picks up the O ball. There's basketball IQ. And the N1. Brazil can't drag down a defensive rebound right now. Nick Kay. That looked pretty. Now Giddy. Oh. He's starting to uh, really find his groove here. The 20-year-old superstar from the OKC Thunder. Kay in rhythm. Oh, Nick Kay. Back-to-back -back threes from the big man. Mendel. Buries it. That's, That's what sure. Paddy wants to see. Some splashing going on. Well, that's right. Thibel turns the corner. Oh, what about that finish from Matisse? It's a work of art. What word is the hang time. The body control. Mendel steps around Matisse Thibel, who then fouls Kabuklo. And the three-point play opportunity is there. Giddy. Knocks down the mid-range jumper.
Now Bookla has an E improved, most improved award from night one to night two. The power beats the shot clock. He found the front of the rim and Giddy scraps for another board. Finds Thibault, he'll take off the three and that looked pretty. Great find, Mendel to Suarez. That's just a complete lack of communication on the weak side. Getting in stride, down by Paddy Kabukla again. Doing it at both ends. Giddy, look at the pass on point for Dewatt Reef. And we're all locked up at 53 apiece. Mills. There you go. That's the Paddy Mills we know. Weird toss. Nice pass. Whoa, what a block, Nick Kay. He can do it all. Giddy scanning the court. Backs in. Weird toss. Oh, how did he find Joe Ingles in the corner? It's a long way off. And works out for Giddy, who gets a third crack at it. And Gustavo Contacocci has seen enough for Brazil. He calls for time. It's that length of Xavier Cooks on full display at the moment. Mendor. Oh, beautiful. With Joe Ingles putting a hand in his face. Xavier Cooks. Oh, the elaborate move. Carbuclo had the answer. Maybe it might have been just coming out of the timeout, but a 2 3 zone by Brazil, which. Oh, yeah. Gee whiz, that is just. Yago, just a little fella. As easy as you like getting into the paint. Mills from the corner. Back to back praise from Paddy. Gias loves it in the corner. Oh, yeah. Knocks down another one. That just will not go away. Push to Ingalls. He knows Paddy's there in the corner. Finds Nick Kay instead. You just got to love Nick Kay. Xavier yeah. Cook stripped oh. it away. No, look at Ferenson. Paddy Mills with the find on the bounce box. They have looked explosive in the offensive transition. Benici. That's what he's come on for. Ingles looking for the quick answer. Look at Jack White fly into action. Oh, the vertical's not that good to track that pass down from Joe Ingles. Yago wants them to get into a better position here. He's got the mismatch against Cooks for speed and agility, and he makes it work. That's tough. All alone in the corner, Joe Ingles, no hesitation. Finally, says Joe. Oh, nice handle. Oh, oh what a setup to Paola for Kabuklo. That was really nice. Thrown up by Cooks because he knew Jack White was there for the O boards. And after a couple, they get it home via Cooks on the tip in. Iago left all alone. And what about that? Again, the no looker from Paddy to Joe in the corner. He lost the handle. Iago now has to make it a one possession game. And to Paola with the power finish. And it is back to two. Benici. Oh, it's just a thing of beauty. And he gives Brazil the lead again. iago has been fantastic as well, trying to set it up for the big man. Dos Anjos! They are having all sorts of problems guarding the on-ball screen. Giddy, it's his time to knock one down. And he does! The hometown boy levels things. Dos Anjos from the bounce pass. In the corner, Gias. Doesn't he arc it beautifully for a big man? Dipala, mismatch against Paddy Mills. Thrown out to Benici. Made room for the shot, and that might be a dagger. Thiago takes on Thibault. Lost his footing, and thrown down this time by Kabuklo. And that's a statement from Brazil. Skitty. Lovely little floater to give the Boomers some hope. Ingles a long way from home, created contact, heaved it up and got the late, late whistle. Rattles in the third, two point differential. He's run it all the way down here to five seconds on the shot clock. And look at Australia going to beast mode defensively. Kabuklo though spins to the rim for a very timely bucket. Mills working to the corner. 
Back out to Joe. Taking a while to get a shot off here, Australia. Giddy forces one up. Contact. Cut book has been immense. Drags down the board. Frustration there from Josh Giddy, who slaps it away. Australia beaten at Rod Laver Arena. Work to do ahead of the FIBA World Cup campaign. Brazil claim a major scalp here in Melbourne. Full time.